if you are one of the lucky lottery winners, of course, if you are, you probably know it already. But if not, <laughs> share it with us. We're looking at Tallahassee, Florida, right there. That's where the winning numbers were drawn, and here they are. 5, 23, 16, 22, 29, and Powerball 6. Oh, my so gosh. Close. Good morning, America. So As you all know, Robin is at home recovering. Welcome back to Amy Robach. I had one with six as the Powerball, but that's it. <laughs> that's I mean, not I got bad. This morning good. I was going, I really did. I'm so <laughs> mad. Good <laughs> ball. Oh, good. <laughs> it is the richest Powerball jackpot ever, we should mention. A record $587.5 million jackpot. Those winning tickets were bought in Arizona and Missouri. Each winner gets a $192 million payout. Mm. At their peak, lottery tickets were selling at a rate of, oh, 130,000 a minute, wow. coast to coast. Oh, a lot of losers. Let's get right to ground zero. Arizona, the home of at least one winner. And ABC's David Wright is on the scene in Phoenix. Good morning, David. Good morning, George, from Arizona Lottery Headquarters, where just a few hours from now they're going to hold a press conference. Not clear yet if they're going to be handing out that massive check just yet. You know, some states do give you the option of collecting your winnings anonymously, not Arizona. Even if you elect not to do the press conference, they do publish your name and your hometown. But hey, it's a small price to pay for all that money. Let's take a look at tonight's numbers. First five, 23, 16, 22, 29. The Powerball number is the number six. Six numbers that will change lives for at least two people, maybe more. $587 million worth of change, plus change. Or if the two winning ticket holders take the cash option, they'd each take home a cool $192 million. Here in Arizona, ticket sales spiked 500% because of an influx of players from Nevada and California, states that don't sell Powerball tickets. Anybody come over from San Diego? And just yeah, San Diego, they come from San Diego, LA. Optimistic Americans with a dollar and a dream went on a Powerball binge. I'm the winner. At one point, 130,000 tickets were being sold every minute. Everybody thinks they're the lucky ones. The jackpot rolled over 16 times without a winner. That's why it got so huge. Amazingly, this is not the biggest U.S. lottery prize ever. In March of this year, three tickets shared a Mega Millions jackpot of $656 million. Last night, nearly 9 million ticket holders won smaller consolation prizes. If you matched five out of six winning numbers, you'll take home prizes totaling more than $130 million. And for the rest of us, there's Jimmy Kimmel's advice. This lottery is an opportunity for your dream to come true, especially if your dream is to lose a dollar. Um. You know, uh, lottery officials tell us an interesting fact. When the winning numbers are low, in this case, all of them under 30, those are the numbers people tend to play, birthdays, anniversaries, and the like, and that made it more likely this time that there'd be more than one winner. Amy? Yeah, but not likely enough for us. All right, David, thanks so much. We want to head now to St. Louis, Missouri, home to the second winning ticket in this huge Powerball jackpot. ABC's Alex Perez is there live. Alex, good morning. Hey, good morning, Amy. You know, officials here in Missouri are expected to reveal where that winning ticket was sold in just a couple of hours. Now, at one point yesterday, tickets were selling at an astonishing rate of about 130,000 tickets per minute. And, of course, business owners here are very interested in knowing where that winning ticket was sold because they also get $50,000 in all this. Now, Missouri is a very, very lucky state. This is the 27th Powerball jackpot winning ticket sold here. Missouri ranks seven second when it comes to Powerball jackpot winners coming only behind Indiana which has uh, 38 jackpot winners and by comparison to give you an idea Arizona has just 11 jackpot winners now we should know when that person claims a ticket because authorities here in Missouri will be revealing that person's name so we're hoping to learn a whole lot more about where and when that big win will be <laughs> well, we know when it is uh, we know they won but where that big win was and who that person is we're hoping to learn in just a couple of hours 